Hi everyone. So I'm going to take us quickly through um, what the segmentation looks like. So I got back from Z Imaging, and really what they want to see is they want to see these ventricles. So I asked them, they said that this is an example of kind of a good image. I um, can show you a couple of other examples. So here's another segmentation. This is from uh, file 401. And another segmentation, this one from file 400. And it looks like I screwed some stuff up with it. But I'm going to load that in. So remove that one. Um, so here I'm going to show you guys how to do this uh, from beginning to end. So I'm going to open up a completely new file. So look at 404. I have not looked at this before. Um, just kind of get an idea of what we're looking for. Okay, so here we are in the middle of the brain. If you're not in the middle of the brain, pull it on over. And this is um, what we're trying to image here. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we actually want to move laterally. So this image here is sliced on the brain like this. And we want to move uh, laterally until we're kind of right in the middle of this. There's a little bit of tissue um, in, uh, of course, separating the left and the right half of the brain. So we want to move away from that. So here we're kind of in that, we might be in that tissue. Um, so this is what we want. This is the thing that we want to capture. All right. So we're going to add a new segment and we're going to threshold. And again, we're going to want to be on the low end here. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get everything in the black and nothing else. So roughly, let's go with that. Might be a little more than we want, but that's okay. Okay, so now we hit apply, and there we go. We've got our segment. Um, Click show 3D and it should pop in over here. It might take a second. There we go. Okay. You can zoom out if you need to. Oops. So scroll wheel or two finger scroll will zoom in and out. Um, you can also, if you hold down shift, you can pan around here. And if you hold down control, you can rotate. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we want to cut all the stuff away, but we want to make sure that we don't cut uh, too close to the brain. So watching this region, let's just scroll forward and back a little bit and see where the extent is. Okay, so it looks like the highest point that it gets is around here. So if you watch this go slosh back and forth, um, this height is what we're looking for here. Okay, yep, so that seems to be about the highest point. So we can cut off everything above that. So we'll just start. Actually, we can even be a little more aggressive than that. Okay. So slice off everything above that. And of course, we're also slice off this little portion too and let's just check and make sure that we don't we didn't uh, accidentally cut off the top of this at any point oh. no it looks good cutting a little close but not too bad okay so now we're going to proceed so how far back does it go that's the next question and this seems to be the farthest back so let's be a little more careful this time Cut off back there. And then finally, we need to check how far forward does it go. So here, get to about there. Um, yeah, that looks to be about as far forward as it goes. So again, let's, uh, let's be a little careful. Cut off to here. All right, so then finally we want to uh, find the bottom. And following this around, so of course we've transformed this segment, then we go down, 
And this looks like around here is our bottom. We might be a little, I want to be a little careful again. So let's cut it off down here. And okay, so this is looking good. So then finally we need to make um, our lateral cuts. And again, we're just gonna follow this blob and see what its largest extent is. And it looks like around here. So we'll cut off everything to the left, cut off everything to the right. And okay, this is what we're left with. Um, it's a bit of a mess, but we can see what we want in the middle there. So then the next step is actually, so we're going to click on islands and click keep selected island. So this will get basically, it'll only keep the connected component of one of the things we click on. So we'll go and click on um, this part. Okay. And so it's only removed a couple of things, but it's cleaned up a little bit. And that's basically going to be what we are processes from here on out. So we're going to start cutting things off the main image. And then we're going to click Heat Selected Island to, um, uh, to to find the connected component of just this this uh, main ventricular body. Okay, so we want to so okay, so a bunch of stuff we want to cut off. This is an example. So zoom in. Don't. There's no reason to make this hard for yourself. And let's just make a little cut there. And okay. And then on the other side, so we want to cut this stuff off the bottom. So this, of course, looks like um, our ventricle. We'll get rid of this. Continuing around. So this is, of course, holding control and rotating is helpful. So again, we can see where the boundary is roughly. Again, this will cut sort of forever, so be, be careful, you know, trace things out. So here's where I'm going to grab the islands again, and it automatically deletes that because uh, we've disconnected them from the, uh, from the main ventricular body. So there's some of this junk that's going to be a little bit hard to get, um, but like for instance, this here, I bet that if we, let's pan over a little bit, I bet that if we just cut this off right here, we'll actually disconnect this top bit, and then if we grab islands, yep, that top bit's disappeared as well. Great. So we are slowly getting uh, getting down to where we want. Um, okay, so of course this is uh, if this is one of the advantages of um, taking less stuff. So if you remember, I took a lot um, when we made that initial thresholding. And one of the advantages of sort of not taking as much, of course, is that um, you've got more cleanup to do. But of course, you know we want to get the whole ventricle here. Okay, this is a good angle. So let's just clean that up. Grab this again. And we want to clean up that top part. That off, and then again we will grab our island, and that part's disappeared. And continuing on, um, so really, what we want here is this part of the surface. So there's some of this stuff, so like for instance, um, some of this interior stuff here, we know we're just not going to want, so we can just cut that out. 
and like this stuff back here. We'll just cut that out. And you know, I'm you know in this case, I'm actually going to cut out quite a bit of this inside here as well. Because again, this is what this is our target for the surgery. Um, and so, uh, of course, inside of it, there's this this uh, part of the ventricle as well that we were looking at. Um, we can actually remove that inside bit as well, um, because again, our t our target for the surgery is the outside. Something we want to keep back there, so I want to be uh, careful. But um, okay, and then this in here is not actually part of what we want. Okay. So this is starting to look pretty good. I'm to try to continue being careful though. Let's grab this island again. And okay, this is pretty good. Um, wow. Yeah, we still want to cut this stuff away probably. That part of the ventricle out. And this part. And that's pretty good. Um, you know, there's maybe a little bit more cleanup we could do, um, but this is basically what we want. The big thing, you know, notice that we don't have any like floating pieces. We don't have anything else. We'll just do a last um, grab islands on this, and yeah, we could we could cut this part out too. Okay, there we go. That is our first and second ventricle. And so then um, what is the last step? Well, the last step is um, you want to get the data point that you did this on. So in this case, um, what are we looking at here? So we're looking at 400. And um, so that's good. This is the one that I deleted. Right. Go back to the segment editor and name this segment Oasis segment, um, whatever the actual file name is, and then ventricle. Um, because again, uh, we may be segmenting out this ball into other parts for the surgery planning folks. And then the last thing to do is to export. And there you go.